uh, <coughs> will be plus. Uh, of course, PNG one two three. Introduction to majority literature two, which will cover poetry and drama. This course will be taken by two of us. With Christian Gilde Akubu and myself. Uh, it's time we have to look at the course outline of uh, the semester for the semester. The course outline is divided into three parts. The first part, we are going to look at the rise of written Nigerian literature. Under this written Nigerian literature, we are going to look at the literary journals, and we are also going to look at the performance of us from theater to drama. The B part of the course outline is anti colonial Nigerian literature. So under this, we have anti colonial literature one, which covers poetry, and we also have anti colonial literature, drama, theater. Because the two areas write to protest against the colonial administration, the colonialism in general. Then the C part is other issues in the new writers. Under this, we have gender issues in Nigerian literature. Under this, we are going to look at the issue of uh, feminism in society, because women are also considered. Then the second part of uh, new writers, we are going to look at traditional beliefs in new Nigerian literature. We're going to also look at the new Nigerian poets and also the new Nigerian playwrights. Uh, as part of the uh, under the A part, we have the Nigerian orator in Nigerian literature. Under this, we're going to look at Nigerian oral literature other forms of uh, popular culture, uh, which can be seen as a, uh, a form of a medium for commenting on contemporary issues, social and political events, and also be, to uh, be a significant agent of change, capable of restoring the people's historical experience. Now, through this, we want to look at myths and other myths in our society. Uh, and many uh, communities attribute their greatness uh, aligned to the beginning. I also want to look at the home from black authors. This session introduces us to the development of the campus journal known as Home, which uh, is a magazine poetry by the interview by the Department of English in 1957. Initiated by a young lecturer who was a fresh graduate from from uh, University of Leeds. Uh, this young lecturer who just graduated from in this brought the idea from the university and introduced it uh, to John Peter Clark and others. Um, 
the, we are also going to look at the formation of body clock, the body clock. The body clock is a cultural uh, clock, the cultural current shared by the intellectual elite of the body. Come together to form what you call the body writers and artists club. It's an organization that is focused on the African arts and latest. Uh, the cosmopolitan character of the first body club is essential by some of its founders. These include Chino Achebe, and Igbo, and we have Francis Ademola, Ghana, uh, Madel, Ivo Imokebe, we have uh, Uli Bey, a German born British citizen, we have uh, John Pepe Clark, uh, Master Cook, Chief D.O. Pagunwa, a well known urban writer, and others. We also have the Okiki and other journals. This aspect will look at the formation or the establishment of these indigenous journals that help to develop and promote poetry and drama from theater. So with the establishment of Nigerian based indigenous university in Tsuka, some of the scholars from the bottom took a mass to the new university. Most of them decided to create a university of excellence by improving on the standard setup at Ibadan as a college of the University of London. University of Nigeria in Suka was established in 1960, some years after the graduation of excellent literary scholars like Achebe, Shoyinka, Clark, Shogun, and uh, Okibo and others. The Department of English at Suka under the headship of Chino Achebe began the publication of the paper which he called the Journal of New Writing. Uh, I want to look at other parts of it. Then under the performance of drama and theater, there was a gradual development of the performance of drama or theater in Nigeria, allowing the traditional world theater so enforced by ABDG allowing to in brackets. Others contributed to the development of drama and theater. The major personages of the Yoruba traveling theater in formative years were the acknowledged father of Nigerian theater, Kuba Ogunde, and his contemporary colleagues, Duro Ladipo and Kola Ogumola. And these are others, the under the literary drama. Let's look at uh, the literal lineage, the university base, and elites. One of the best practitioners of this model was James N. Henshaw. He wrote several plays, including This is Our Chance, Children of the Gorgeous, and others. Furthermore, the Consider the pleas are coming to some social and political life in Nigeria in the years just before and after independence. They treat issues of culture, contact, and conflicts as the problems of building a coherent nation out of diverse ethnicities and of morality and social beliefs. The plays were popular in schools and other literary circles in the 1960s and early 1970s, and were the best diet of many Indian and German playwrights. Some of the plays of that time were The Lion and the Joel by 
what is your income? A zero place, coin gives harvest, and a player of giants, while the more absolute ones include the Lord, the strong brief, madmen, and fishers, and big and the king's person. All this is written by the non and uh, world class literary icon of the In content, also, Shoyinka have tended to write two types of plays. These are the political play and the social metaphysical play. In the same political plays, Shoyinka exposes the bizarre, sensitive, and racial nature of governance in contemporary African society. In the social metaphysical place, he explores often in its historical vein issues like prejudices, religious hypocrisy, theology, and others. And phrases in our society. Also, we are going to look at John Pepe Clark, who is another important playwright. He published some texts, including Songs of the God, The Masquerade, The Rout, among others. Olavoti, who started his writing career in 1966, has been a well rounded theatre man and a first rate film director. He published over 39 plays. Including the Gold Summit of Lem, Kurolin, Vice, Our Husband Has Gone Mad Again, If Tragedy of the Rules and Hosentos, among others. Especially the Gold Summit of Lem, for example, is a material adaptation of the poetic thing in which Rotini uses the metaphor communal districts, self-rule, and ethnic pride to symbolize the problem that culminated <coughs> in the Nigerian civil war of 1967-1970. Thus, the girls are not to blame who are not of uh, Nigerian national tragedy, but it's related to some of our cultural and traditional life, especially in the West African culture. There are several other playwrights in Nigeria who belong to this liberal conservative ethos, notably Wally Ogunemi and two women, and two women playwrights, Julie Tokola and Kais Ogunemi. Ogunemi's landscape is similar to that of a lot of them. Vijayo, for example, is earlier and you visited the same material as what you wrote on the screen. There are other writers. Uh, we also look at some of the writings of uh, the female writers, like uh, Ogun Yemi has published many other plays, including Eshu Eleba and Obalu Ezulu Sokola. First Nigerian woman playwright has been writing plays for, for over 20 years. Her titles include Well Love of the Gods, King Emere, and The Disturbed Fields of Christmas. Uh, in when uh, she also considers herself as being in bondage for three years with the mother last year. And then the husband dies. Now we are going to look at the emergence of new playwrights. Uh, in the late 1970s and 1980s, a group of young people started expressing unease about the prevailing level of conservative ethos in the Nigerian theater. They were mostly former disciples who are near to Chirinka who are no longer fully satisfied with the vision of the society. 
whilst he played paying respect to his great artistic skill. He suggested that he was not given the adequate direction in the place about what the people ought to do to alleviate the social and political problems. Uh, also, the sound has published more than a long list. Among them, we have the chatting and the sound, who is afraid of Solari, once upon four of us, and Madame Tumbo. Also, have body so and this, please, in the flute. The night before fly away to Babylon and thank us for winning. Part India has no more oil. Uh, Part India has no more oil boom. Blood and sweat. And as we also have almost his own. God has played the cost. All the things in various ways protect the social vision of the Nigerian society. It's the most competent, for example, in the surface of place. The regions we realize through the carefully woven talks created by limited characters and limited credible characters and situations. While some of the playwrights, however, give the impression that their works have been hardly put together to catch the more effect news and little more topical issues. And political tracks only a few fiction. Poetry of Okara and Clark also the new text. Give Okara and J. John Pepe Clark amongst the alias and the colonial poets in Nigeria. With them, Nigerian poetry in English has matured and taken a big leap forward. Now, considering Gabriel Okara as very unique, he obviously brought himself up most credibly, and his works show a close awareness of English romantic and nature poetry as well as some modern traits. Clark is also a poet of welfare and their consequences on the society. Poems with the bonnet in title, casualties, were inferior to the world in 1970 to among others. The portrait of Kibo and Shoinka. Also, on that video, I'm going to look at Christopher Kibo from 1932 to 1957. Wrote five sequences of poems entitled Heaven Day. Limit, styling, distance, and part of Sunday respectively. They are published at different times between 1962 and 1968. And we are later put together in one volume under the title Labyrinths in 1971, among other contributions made by the people in Sri Lanka in the field of 